the whole inspiration for this journey and for this adventure and for this life that we're living, that we've been living for the last two years, it all started right here, right at this beach, right at this view. And the first thing that we said to each other, the first thought that we had about living an alternative lifestyle was, let's move right here to Santa Teresa, Costa Rica. Let's move here. We'll do whatever we can to live differently, to live alternatively. We'll scoop ice cream. We'll do ATV rentals. We'll do, be tour guides. We'll do anything to get out of the jobs that we were in, to get out of the essence of our life, which was basically just to make some rich jerk richer. That's what we were doing. That's what we were doing with our jobs. And we wanted to change that. We want to change the, the, the point of our lives of what we were living for. And spending 50, 60, 70 hours doing that was just emotionally weighing down on us. And we saw this place and we saw people that we could relate to, similar age, similar position, that were in a similar position as us. And they left their old lives to come and live here, to live an alternative life. And the first thing that we set out to do, which was to live right here, we're doing right now. And the feeling, it's hard to put into words because the feeling was so strong two years ago and it's kind of just like hitting us that we did it. That's a wolf. You're a wolfie. That's a big dog. He's so cute. What's up, you guys? We're getting on a boat today. looking slightly pasty. <laughs> well you guys, welcome to Tortuga Island. We're just in the Gulf of the Nicoya, right off the coast of Costa Rica. And before we go explore the island, we're gonna go explore beneath the surface for a little bit and do some circling. I got a question. <laughs> what is that? He's my friend. Look how sweetie. He, he just came over and started cuddling you? Yeah. I just went to go get some drone shots and I come back and I thought Kaylee was petting a dog. I'm like, oh, Kaylee found a little friend to keep her company. And then it's, it's a little He has thing. not moved. He has not moved. He's a little thing. He's so sweet. He's so sweet. So apparently he's over 20 years old. He's been on this island for our guide. Came to this island for the first time when he was five years old. And this guy was here and he's still here 20 years later. We got a new buddy. What's his name? Did, did they tell you his name? I don't know. I don't okay. know his name. We'll have to find out. Let's call him Tom. <laughs> Tom the pig. So just me, Kaylee, and Tom hanging out <laughs> on this little island having a blast. <laughs> Guys, what a freaking day today has been. Jordan and I don't usually do tours like this where we'll pay 50 or $60, however much it was, to do things like this. Because it's very touristy and a lot of times things like this just aren't really worth the money. Um, but this has been way, way worth the money. This place is incredible. And like I said in the last video, to me, Costa Rica, like even though there are a lot of very touristy areas, a lot of tourists travel to Costa Rica, the places that you go to are so much more pristine and untouched than your typical touristy spots. So the vibe is just so much more chill and the places are just so insanely beautiful. 
So here we are on this island. I think we have another hour and a half here. So I think we're just gonna chill on the beach, take this all in, enjoy the rest of our time here. We're gonna be leaving Santa Teresa probably within the next few days. So we're just gonna soak all of this up for the next hour and a half. Welcome to Christmas morning for Kaylee. <laughs> Her favorite place in the world. You guys, today just keeps getting better and better, I feel like. We're at a grocery store. Good? I think so. We're just picking up a couple things for smoothies. We're having a problem with our stove. I'm gonna try and turn it on. Let's see how weak that flame is. So what that means is? No propano. Right of propane. And the other bad news is we're in the middle of nowhere. We're on the Nicoya Peninsula. And you know, I feel like we may be able to find a spot in Santa Teresa. For you to get a propane tank here in Santa Teresa, it takes seven days. Because they have to take it and they have to ship it over to San Jose and then they ship it back. Because you can't fill up propane tanks in I'm gas stations here. You, don't have... you, can't, you can't do it here. You can't fill them up in gas stations. So, so we're going to have a hard time even when we get back because usually it's a three day wait to get your tank filled. Or you can exchange it, but we couldn't. We have a, an American fitting and we'd be exchanging it. So you're saying in San Jose, we won't be able to find a place to fill up our tank? I think there's one spot. And I found it on iOverlander and we're gonna have to check it out in the next video. So you guys are gonna see us figure that one out. But luckily, we're at a camp spot. So we have hookups to a kitchen and all that stuff that we need. So there's a kitchen just over there that we're gonna be able to use. And the other good news is look at it. We got a little bit of banana bread left. We still have banana bread left. Jordan thought we ran out this morning, but I saved a little bit because I knew when we came back, we were going to want some. We've been baking up all these goodies and uh, we made a whole loaf of banana bread last night and we ate the whole thing. It's all gone in 24 hours. So yeah, but that's going to be gone in the next five minutes. Yeah, you're right. So mom, I know you'll be proud of me because I know you do the same thing. Just measuring the size of our bus because we have to ship this bus in about a month maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less we're not sure but i just measured it and we're definitely not going to fit this bus in a shipping container and that's what most people do to ship it over the darien gap but we're too big so we're gonna have to do something called roll on roll off it seems like it's about twice the price and it seems like it's a lot more dangerous for someone to break in because you have to keep your keys in the vehicle unlocked and it just sits there for days in a port. So what we're probably gonna have to do is build some type of barrier that separates the driver, the cab from the back. We're not gonna keep any valuables in there, but I want people stealing charge controllers and batteries and stuff like that. We'll talk about more than that about that over the next couple of coming weeks, but that's kind of what we're thinking. What do you think, love? What? Smoothie time? finished watching the sunset the end of this little day so the cotton candy sky just off in the distance pretty sure today has been one for the books I look super sunburnt <laughs> we both got really sunburned today we're, it's funny like when you're out in the Sun all day it just makes you so exhausted so we're gonna hop in bed we've been watching hands made tales which of you guys don't watch that it's really really good it's definitely messes with your brain a little bit but it's a really good show you definitely need something happy to watch after you watch that so, because if you go to bed, you're gonna have nightmares. I've been having nightmares. So, we're gonna go watch a couple episodes. We love you guys. Adios. See you next time.